Hey guys, today we are going to show you how to remove the lock screen from your iPhone or iPad. This is a cool tweak if that lock screen just slows you down and if you don't have a passcode. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what it looks like, if we power off our device and then power it on, you'll notice there was no lock screen. It takes us directly uh, to our home screen, which I think is pretty cool. A couple things about making this work, you have to have a jailbroken device. Uh, so if your device isn't jailbroken, you can go ahead and jailbreak it and come back. The second thing is, if you have a passcode, this won't work. If you have a passcode, obviously it's going to ask you to enter that. So we just need to make sure that we turn off the passcode before we install this tweak, um, or it won't work. So to do that, we go ahead and go into settings, scroll down to general, scroll down to passcode lock, and you can see that mine is turned off. Um, if yours is on, just go ahead and turn it off, and then this tweak should work. Uh, if you ever decide to turn that back on, this tweak will obviously stop working, and you'll have that lock screen with your passcode back on. Uh, once we have that off, let's go ahead and go into Cydia. And we are going to search for an app called Skip Lock. And this is all one word. And here in the list, you can see there's only one option. Um, this uh, app or tweak is located in the Big Boss repo. So if you're not seeing any skip lock in the list, make sure that you have the Big Boss repo installed. So once we go ahead and click on that, uh, you can see kind of the settings in the app here. This is what it looks like. Then in the upper right hand corner, we're going to go ahead and click install. Mine says modify because I already have this on my device. Yours will say install. So when you click that, the device will download the tweak and then restart. Um, and because this is a tweak and not an app, there won't be any icon on your device. You shouldn't see any app pop up. Um, and even in the list of settings, sometimes they'll give you kind of a settings control. For this one, there's nothing like that. So you should notice that when you uh, lock your, your power off your device and power it on, it comes right back to the home screen. If it's not doing that, I would double check, make sure your password is off because that will block it. And the other thing is if you have any sort of notifications, if you get like a text message or an email and it pops up, then it will show you. It'll take you to your lock screen and show you that you got a message. But other than that, it should take you directly to the home screen and get rid of that annoying lock screen. Hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Uh, this video was good. Give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day.